Hi Tech One students, this is your video version of our pop art lesson, where we are going to create an Andy Warhol type image from a portrait of a person or an object that you choose. I do have a few stock images, uh, that is images that are put into a folder that you can use. Right now, I'm going to click on third quarter, week three, and there's our pair deck. Um, and then here is a folder of celebrity images. Students, you may download or choose any image that you want. I also sent an email over the weekend to each of you saying, you can send yourself a selfie with your school email and you could use that. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, click open this and I'm just going to choose one of these images. Hey, I teach social studies. I will choose this portrait of our president, Joe Biden. I'm going to download. Downloading the image is going to most likely default to your personal folder. What I'm going to do now is open up Photoshop. I'm going to go to the menu and I am going to, oops, find Adobe Photoshop. Remember, you do have the uh, ability to install Photoshop on a personal computer at home, not on a Chromebook. Photoshop will not work on a Chromebook. All right. I've got my Photoshop window open here. I'm going to make it fill the screen. And if I use, uh, I don't want to open a new file here. I want to use the open button because I have downloaded that image. So what I'm going to do is go find that image. And on my teacher computer, it goes to the downloads. Yours will default to your personal folder when you use the computers at school. So there it is our president and what I want to do first, uh, well, first notice we got the tools on the left and we have our layers on the right. We are going to be using layers heavily for this assignment. What I'm going to do is use the object selection tool, the fourth tool down here on the left. And just like we did with our Photoshop collage assignment, I'm just going to highlight what it is I want the artificial intelligence in Photoshop to cam to capture, and I'm going to let it work. There it is. I've got the president outline. I'm going to control C for copy. I've copied this. Now pay attention on the layers here. What I want to do is go to the little plus symbol next to the garbage can on the bottom. I'm going to click add, uh, add a layer. And I'm going to control V for Valentine on the keyboard to paste the image in to layer one. Now, a couple things I'm going to do quickly. I'm going to click on the original layer, the background, and then I'm going to click the garbage can and delete it. I'm going to say, yes, I want to delete that. Now I'm going to double click on this layer where, uh, where the type is, where it says layer one, double click. And I'm going to change this to original. This is my original layer. I'm going to do that. Then with this original layer selected, I am going to go to the layers menu. And what I am going to do is duplicate the layer. And where it says original copy, I am going to just change the name to copy and click OK. So now I have my original layer and my copy layer. They're at the moment identical, but I want to do different things to each layer and then combine them later. Students, this is a good time to save your work. If you go to file and save, You will get this window here. Use the option save on your computer. When you uh, save, again, um, you're gonna select your 
personal folder to save your work to. And call the file pop art and make it at this point a Photoshop file. I'm going to save and I'm going to click OK. So now, uh, sometimes uh, it, uh, Photoshop uses lots of memory and I have seen it recently crash computers. If you don't save before the crash, you're going to lose everything since the last time you saved. So when working in an application like this, or any application really, it's a good idea to save as you go. All right, I am going to click the I symbol next to my copy layer and I'm going to uh, make that, I'm going to turn that layer off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my original layer. And I have a tab down here that says adjustments. You might have it up here under your color window. I'm going to click this and I'm going to choose the brightness contrast tool here. I'm going to click it and it's going to add a brightness contrast layer. And it gives me some sliders down here, one for brightness, one for contrast. The second slider, the contrast, I'm going to turn all the way up to 100. And for brightness, I'm going to slide it to about 20 or 30. And maybe right about, right about 20 right there. All right. Now, oh, by the way, if I just want to make it exactly 20, I can click and type it in. Once I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to this brightness contrast layer. I'm going to click in the empty spot. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose create clipping mask. I'm going to click that and this little down pointing arrow shows that this layer has been made into a clipping mask. I'm going to do one more thing in this video, but first I'm going to file, save. No window popped up, doesn't have to. It already knows where the file goes. It's just saving my progress. Now I'm going to go back uh, down uh, here and I'm going to, oops, right here. I'm going to add a layer, create new layer. And this layer, uh, it says layer one. I'm going to go and go to layer, layer style, and stroke. This is going to be the stroke layer. And since we're going to add a pop art effect, we're going to take this photograph and we're going to make it like a comic uh, or a cartoon. What we are going to do is, is define the thickness of the pen stroke, if you will. So this window that pops up has defaults at one. You can see it right here. You can move the slider or you can just change that one to a three and click OK. And I'm going to uh, double click where it says layer one. And I'm just going to call this stroke. This is my stroke layer. And at this point, I am going to file, save. Make sure you have these steps and then you're ready to move on to part two.